Okay, this is Byron. I'm here with uh, Richard, and uh, we're going to give you a, a quick overview of the um, reconditioning that uh, has been performed on this uh, SUSE MA200 as a good example of what uh, we do here at Class 1 on a typical uh, refurbishment um, of a SUSE MA200 mask liner. Um, Richard, do uh, you want to go ahead and just yeah. go through the tool as, as you have... Uh, yeah. Um. Um, first off we power the system up completely to make sure that all of the assemblies and, uh, are functioning as they right, should be. Right, right. Um, we take the wedge error compensation head out of the machine completely, strip and rebuild that. So a complete rebuild, okay, of the yep. wedge head, yep. Uh, the Z-axis, the whole bearing cage below this and the stepping motor is all removed, cleaned, relubricated and put back in to ensure that the gapping is always going to be accurate. Okay. Um, we clean and lubricate all of the alignment in, yeah. stage lead screws. This one is the x-axis, the y-axis is on the right side and the theta rotation is buried in the back. Oh, underneath, okay. Yeah. So basically you, you, you take the stage completely apart, yeah. WEC head, z-axis, and okay. Yeah, we do the same on the, the pre-aligner. Um, the three axes that move on here, the rotational axis for finding the center of the, the wafer and the notch, the Y axis for positional movement okay. and the Z axis for the actual okay. uh, lift and, and transport movements. Okay. We do the same strip and rebuild of the cassette elevator so the lead screws are cleaned, lubricated, the bearings, the main guide rods. Okay. Yeah. All completely. So the elevator, okay. Completely serviced and the sensors are all adjusted and set up to suit whatever wafers and cassettes Customer. are used. Yep. yep. Customer specific yeah, cassettes. Anything from 25 slot down to 12 slot are the typical ones that, that get used. Right. Uh, the wafer transport system is levelled completely to the to the wedge head. Okay. The pre-aligner is levelled to the transport, and then the cassettes are levelled. Complete to the levelling. As okay. Well. Yep. Goes right through. Uh, all of the pneumatic functions are tested individually. Any leaks, problems are right. fixed, rectified. Damaged tubing is replaced wherever it's necessary. Okay. Lamp house. Lamp house removed. All optics taken out. Okay. We check that the optics are the correct ones for the system. Um, we make sure that when the new lamp is installed, the intensity is at the required level, at least up to the the quality right. when the tool was new. Okay. I know on this one we've installed a brand new uh, ellipsoidal mirror, yeah. uh, brand new lamp. New yeah. lamp, new ellipsoidal mirror. Okay. The remaining optics have been cleaned and the okay. intensity is around 10% higher than when it came out of the factory. Wow, okay. Which is good. That's Pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Um, the microscope on this system is dual video. Yep. Turret with three different objective magnifications. Um, no problems, no issues with that one. It's Gone all, through it. Check. Yeah. It's all set up. We have the correct tooling for adjusting the light path. Okay. Uh, image quality is good. Okay. Auto align system is functioning. Right. Uh, microscope manipulator, again X, Y and theta stages are all cleaned, okay. lubricated, serviced, sensor positions are checked to make sure that the microscope movement is within the specified ranges. Okay. Uh, well great, yeah and then, um, okay sorry go ahead. Yeah then, then it's cycle wafers through the tool and do a, a, a long term test to make sure that the handling is performing correctly. Okay. And with this using tool. the customer wafers well first I think you did with with bare wa with, with dummy wafers, dummy wafers. yep uh, and then the customer arrived with patterned wafers the dedicated mask for those okay we create the recipes needed to run the right the, the particular samples and um, this test went well okay okay Good. I know the customers happy and uh, everything went well yeah. so no oh, that's great uh, this is a uh, a great overview of what we go through to uh, to refurbish and uh, get a tool uh, up to not only the the original manufacturer specs but also the customer specifications and requirements. Yeah. That's, that's so I know 
just just for the, the video note, I'm just going to note that you, I know you're already starting to disassemble the tool. That's why obviously the the monitor has been taken yeah, off, and, and just for chucks removed. Wait, the yeah, chuck chuck. already installed in the yeah the wedge arrow compensation. Yeah. Hey? So just so when you know if a uh, person that's looking at the video will will know that it's already been uh, some of the parts have been disassembled and getting ready for shipment. So anyways, well, thank you, thank you, and uh, great job. I'll pull. Just give it a full. Full shot and then. Oops.